Call of Duty Modern Warfare is without a doubt the best Call of Duty game that has ever been released. So good in fact, that Activision were like... You wanna see me do it again? Today, we'll be working through all 50 of the remastered game's achievements, including the hardest achievement in the Call of Duty series and unlocking the Diamond Achievement. What is the Diamond Achievement, I hear you ask? Well, as Sony have the Platinum Trophy, I have made this to give myself some feeling of accomplishment for spending days of my life sat behind a screen. The game starts off throwing us into some close quarters combat training, and is where we're first introduced to Captain Price. How a Muppet like you pass selection? Oh, you're a dick, Price. Suck my toes. I can imagine there's an achievement for beating 19 seconds, so we're, we're gonna try and beat 19 seconds. Right, nice. Shoot the targets. Come through here. Nineteen seconds. Jesus Christ. Right. Okay. Yeah. Let's go again. That was worse than the first one. Oh my God. Right. The idea is to take less time, not more. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Thank you very much, Price. It took a few attempts, but after a bit of practice, we stormed through CQB training with a good time of 1805 unlocking us the new squadron record achievement. Oh, 1805? Come on. Let's go! Okay, that wasn't too bad. With combat training completed, we select veteran difficulty, I will not survive, and complete the mission FNG. And a winged dagger. Complete FNG, there we go, this game's easy. Now we've received as much training as a United States police officer, we use taxpayers' money to finance a covert military assault on a nearby cargo ship. Making our way through the ship, we encounter a few enemies, but manage to take them down without too much trouble, making use of the plenty of cover available. But don't worry, this is just to build our confidence before the game proceeds to ass blast us in the near future. Ah! Okay, no, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, everything's fine. We get to the objective with some questionable assistance from our team. You guys are ass, man, what do you mean, captain? You, you can't, you can hit a barn door with your shots, mate. And on our way out of the ship, things get a little bit heated. Oh my Jesus. Right, well, I think this is about to get a lot more intense. Oh, the ship's sinking. Oh, jeez. Help is on the way, dear! Thank you very much, Price. I appreciate it. Come on, Gaz, back on your feet, you absolute imbecile. Bravo 6, where the hell are you? I am trying my best, thank you very much, person on the goddamn walkie-talkie. I can only do so much. Get to the chopper! Right. I'll press A to jump. Nice. There we go. Price, can you sort of help me out here, please? Thank you very much, sir. There we go. I'll take it. Do I... Oh, I get an achievement for that as well. Make the jump. That just complete... Yeah, infiltrate the cargo ship. Fantastic stuff. Oh. What's this one? The package. Is that for a veteran? Complete crew expendable on veteran. There we go. The next mission puts us in the body of President Al Falani. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do on this mission, and it's basically a glorified cutscene as we get taken to our execution. Mission 3 puts us in the Russian mountains to infiltrate a base and extract an ally named Nikolai. Nikolai. On our way to the base, we clear out some enemies and earn our next achievement. Hehe, <laughs> get rinsed, buddy! Right. Oh? No rest for the weary. What did I do? Stab an injured crawl. Ah, oh, let's go. Okay, nice. We're introduced to Kamarov. Can I kill that guy? Provide some cover fire for the guys we just planned on brutally murdering and rappel down into the fight. This is the first real combat of the game, and we pick up a few deaths here, but we stay calm and patiently make our way to Nikolai. Check, oh, that's why we check our corners. Oh my Christ. Where are my bullets going? Oh my God, suck me off. Oh, he's dead. Okay, cool. Right, there we go. Hi, Nikolai. How you doing, buddy? Not even close. Nikolai. With Nikolai rescued, we board the helicopter and bring an end to the mission. Hey, let's go. Rescue. Is that another mission? Complete blackout on veteran. Come on. Oh, and another. 
Dancing in the dark. Kill the power. Okay, so that would just be complete that mission, I guess, but on any difficult way. In mission four, we take control of Sergeant Paul Jackson, leading a raid in the Middle East to capture high-value target Al-Assad. Our first objective is to clear the enemy HQ in search of Al-Assad. Okay, nice. <gasps> Not nice. Oh my god. Move, move. Vasquez, move your fat ass. Jesus, I've almost been rinsed. With no sign of Al-Assad in the enemy HQ, we make our way to the TV station, which has the potential to be the toughest section so far. But on the way there, we get our next achievement. I have no idea what I've just got. Four of a kind. What have I done? Four enemies in a row with headshots. Let's go. I'm built different. Oh my god, I'm not built different. Once at the TV station, we make our way through the server room and into the main broadcasting room, where we are met with an onslaught of enemies and our inevitable demise. Is what I would say if I didn't absolutely pop off and do this in one attempt. You dead? Let's go, room clear. Come on, baby. We make it to the recording studio and Al-Assad is nowhere to be found. That mission? Okay, that was a, a bit more difficult than the others. We got an achievement. The search. What have we done? Complete Charlie Don't Surf on veteran difficulty. Easy. There we go. Mission number five takes us into... The bog. In this mission, we have to make our way to a nearby stranded ally tank. I've fallen, and I can't get up! On our way to the tank, we infiltrate an apartment complex and save our friend from painting the walls. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. That's close, isn't it? Oh, what have I done? Rescue Royce. What? Oh, was he meant to get killed there? Okay. With Royce of Witch saved, we blow up some tanks and head to the mission's objective. I, I don't actually know what I'm meant to be doing here. I presume just kill the enemies. Right, we're, we're running far end. Oh, okay. Well, um... <laughs> Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Why, why, why is he... Cost of a single javelin missile, 80 grand. That's good information. I don't care. Why, why, why are you telling me that? Give me some useful goddamn information, you... Once we'd remembered how to actually play the game, we protect the tank, destroy an anti-air gun, and with nothing but skill, we make our way to plant the beacon and call in the air support. Right, plant the beacon. Nice. Get me to cover. Get me to cover. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. No, don't, don't peek. Don't peek. Let's just sit here. This is the best way to go about this. <laughs> Ideal. Is that not complete the mission? Save the bacon. Let's go. Project... Oh, protect Warpig, the Abrams tank. Let's go. Easy peas. For the mission The Hunted, we're back in control of Soap following a helicopter crash. This mission is predominantly stealth-based, making our way through enemy-controlled areas back to safety. We start off by regrouping with some of our team and making our way to a nearby farm. I mean, if they're enemies... Kill him. No, what's the big idea? Just shoot him. Come on. There we go. That was easy. Let's go. With the farmer saved, we head into the next farm building for cover, which is where we pick up the next achievement. Oh my... Hello. Oh my god. I... Don't know what I've done. Daredevil. Um... Kill an enemy while blinded by a flashbang. Okay, thank you very much. Hello, Christ. Getting further into the mission, it appears that not only am I allergic to dogs in real life, I'm now also allergic to dogs in-game as well, as I proceed to get absolutely ripped to shreds. Wait, am I dead? What? What was the reaction time on that? You have to be Usain Bolt to hit that. Oh my god. No shot. Oh, I've hit the right thumbstick. Right, yep. What am I meant to do? I'm tapping too early. You are taking the p Too I'm actually right. I've died twice. I'm going to lose my mind. Ow. Right, that's them two dead. You. There you go, little rat bag. Suck on that. Get rinsed. What have I done? Down boy, down. Survive the dog. Okay, right. After finally surviving the dog attack, we evade the helicopter through the greenhouses and take it down to complete the mission. Overall, not too bad. I never want to do this again. Bloody nice shooting this, so... Yeah, cheers, Gaz. Shut your face. The next mission puts us in the gunner position of an AC-130. Honestly, there's very little risk to this mission, besides my own stupidity. Where you going, buddy? Oh, it was a civilian. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh no! Despite my best efforts, we actually managed to complete this mission, unlocking a few achievements on the way. Boom! Oh my god, they got rinsed. Let's go. Oh, that's a Chivo. What have I done? Roadkill. Uh, killed two enemies by blowing up a car in a single player campaign. Oh, there's a load of them there. Oh, there's more. Boom. Oh, there's another Chivo. Straight flush. What have I done this time? Five enemies with one shot while on the AC-130 gunship. Let's go. Oh, and we got achievement. A rare one as well. The escape. Complete hunted and death from above on veteran. Let's go. <coughs> oh, and death from above as well. Operating AC-130 gunship. Perfect. Love to see it. The mission Warpig puts us back in control of Sergeant Paul Jackson as we escort a tank through a city. Okay, I can imagine this is going to be a high death mission. And past me would be correct. Whilst there are a surplus of enemies, there is also enough cover for us to get by. We escort the tank to the first high street area and take our time to slowly and surely kill the enemies. This appears to be an issue. Oh! Right, well that's just a shame. With our first death of the mission behind us, we push forward, clear a building full of enemies and make our way to extraction. Okay, I can imagine this is going to be a high death mission. Huh. Turns out I was wrong. Oh, come on, what have we got? The bog. What have we completed? Uh, complete the bog and war pig on veteran difficulty. Easy. The next mission is absolute bullshit. Right, what am I shooting at? Oh. <laughs> we start off by providing air support on a helicopter turret and unlocking another achievement. Oh, explosion man. Once off the helicopter, we rendezvous with the advanced recon team which is where things start to go downhill. I'm going to lose my f mind, excuse me? The, where have they come from? The objective of this part of the mission is to make it to this building here. The issue being, there are infinite enemy spawns until you get there. I'm at... That's f or f Who? 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 After 21 attempts into what could have taken 15 seconds, we managed to sprint straight to the building, take out the enemies, and get our next checkpoint. From there, we get back into the helicopter, save this pilot, and get to the end of the mission. Oh, another Chivo. What have we got? The first horseman. Uh, complete shock and awe on veteran difficulty. Lovely job. Thank you. We return as Sergeant Soap in the mission's safe house, where we're required to infiltrate a number of houses which are not safe. Confusing, I know. Inside one of these buildings is the high priority target from earlier, Al Assad. There are a lot of enemies here, but with our ever useful teammates. Okay, that was close. Oh my god, oh my. What are they doing? They're sat on the stairs with their thumbs up their arse. Shoot them! My god, Henry Hoover, shut your face. And the help of an attack chopper, we make it to the final safe house and take out Al Assad. Oh, are we not going to ask him any more questions? There we go. Boom. Give me that Chivo. Wrong number. What did I do? Find Al Assad's safe house. Brilliant stuff. Right. Thank you very much. Oh, we got a second one. Second horseman. Complete safe house on veteran difficulty. Brilliant. The next mission, all gillied up, puts us in the shoes of the then Lieutenant Price. This mission, as you can imagine when you're running around wearing a ghillie suit, is predominantly stealth based, and for this attempt we'll be trying to remain unnoticed by following the orders of Captain McMillan. More cover if we go around. Whatever you say, Captain Crunch. Get down, no. Oh. Yes, Captain America, will do. Okay, let's move. Nice and slow. Yes, sir, Captain Marvel. Oi, Susie, huh? <laughs> Susie! Fucking Michael. smack! Collaborate and listen. I sit back with my brand new adventure. Where are we going, Captain Marvel? Is that it? Let's go, baby. Gilly's in the mist. Benny in the jets. With all gillied up out of the way, we move on to what is without a doubt the worst mission in the game. 
To start off, we take out Zakayev with pinpoint accuracy and rappel down the building. We then make our way through wave after wave of enemies until Macmillan gets injured. Where is Captain? Oh, okay, he's dead over a brilliant. With Macmillan now on our shoulders, we're basically a bullet monkey for any incoming fire. That was until I discovered that Macmillan has the rifle accuracy of Paralympic gold medalist Matthew Skellen. So despite us literally carrying him, he is figuratively carrying us through this mission. Oh my god, he's absolutely cooking. That is until we get to the extraction point. This part of the mission is possibly the worst experience of my life. And I live in England. Whoever thought up this part of the game should face public execution for crimes against humanity. Right, and we're moving. Taking out... Son of a... That, that wasn't even on my heads up display. How am I meant to know there's a goddamn grenade shoved up my arse? Oh my god, you're an absolute pain. <laughs> I am having so much fun. I'm actually going to blow my f brains over my back wall. Who's thrown the frag? This game's easy. Right. Yeah, we actually did very well back here. So I'm going to sit back here and kill enemies and hope for the best until I eventually lose my mind and blow my skull off. Try again. 30 seconds, right, we're having to move. Pick up Captain McMillan. Get on my shoulders, you fat oaf. If this tells me I've not got on the plane in time, I'm gonna kill myself. Move, you gimp! What the actual have I just witnessed? If I find out the name of that soldier who blocked me from getting in that helicopter, I am cleansing his entire family line. What the actual hell? What am I meant to do? There's a frag that's just landed on top of my nutsack. What can I do about that? Oh my god. Honestly, I, I don't see why people complain about this game. It's easy. Right. If one of these characters gets in my way, I am losing my mind. Coming round him this time. <gasps> this game's rigged. What do you mean? Come on, Captain Crunch. Don't you dare die. Please, just close the helicopter. Get me out of here. Get me off this godforsaken nuclear wasteland of a f***ing island. Thank for that. Oh my god. ETA on the choppers at least half an hour, Captain Price. Captain McMillan can suck my knob. Honestly, next time I'm leaving him to die. He can piss off. I'm not even buzzed about 30 game score. Yeah, rare achievement, that shit as well. Do one. Come on. No, throw that out of there. Oh, I don't know what I got that for. Reinforcement denied. Okay, cool. The next mission, Heat, fortunately doesn't cause us as much trouble. We start off defending a hill from oncoming enemies. We eventually get pushed back to a nearby farm and are attacked by a number of tanks and what seems like hundreds of enemies. After defending ourselves at the farm, we find out that exfiltration is back where the mission started. Take it back now, yo. Now, our exit strategy might not be the most honorable, and it would probably get as labelled as a deserter in the military. I only have to get to the landing zone. I don't care about Captain Birdseye up there. We leave Captain Price and Daz behind to fight their own battles, and we eventually make it to the exfiltration point without them. Arem, help me! Sergeant Arem! I'm just a lowly little private. Save my life! Sign sealed delivered. I'll finish this mission. That's all I need. The Sins of the Father tasks us with chasing and eliminating Vlad from GTA 4. 
This mission is honestly a breeze. We intercept Vlad's convoy, chase him through a junkyard, die to a dog, Woof, bitch. catch up with him on a building and watch him shoot a confetti cannon. Come here, buddy. Okay, I don't think Vlad wanted to be captured. That That's, yeah, Vlad's pretty dead. Our so-called leaders prostituted us to the rest. Oh, nice. We've got Chivo. What have we got? The third horseman. Is that one for completing missions? Heat and the sins of the father on veteran difficulty. Let's go, baby. The mission ultimatum places us back in Russia, where our objective is to disable a nuclear missile launcher. In hindsight, the beginning of this mission was probably meant to be stealth, but I'd sort of lost my will to live at this point. <laughs> okay, right. I've 100% just been saved by my team there. I would have been absolutely railed otherwise. We infiltrate some nearby houses and discover a captured Staff Sergeant Griggs. Oh, Griggs! How you doing? With Griggs saved, we blow up an electrical tower. With the tower down, it's now the simple task of taking down some enemies to make it to the end of the mission. Oh my god, suck my asshole. What? As if. We we then try... Oh my god, it's pro... I killed Private Brennan! No! No, it's fine. His family didn't love him. They said he was a, a bad soldier and an abandoner, so they desert No, he was a deserter, that was the one. Yeah, so they, they didn't love him. Speaking of love, be sure to like and subscribe to show me yours. All In continues directly on from the previous mission, as you infiltrate a Russian missile silo. Whilst it's one of the shorter missions of the game, it is by no means a walk in the park. Bye buddy, hope you find your dad. To start this awful mission off, you have to destroy a tank by getting up close and planting C4 on it. And you know what's worse than having to plant C4 on one tank? Having to plant C4 on two tanks. And that's it. That, that's the mission. Maybe it wasn't as bad as I was leading you to believe. No fighting in the war room, however, is utter bollocks. The mission starts off well with us working our way through corridors and taking out any enemies in our way. That is, until whatever you would call this section of the mission. Oh, the second I stop looking, there's just some bell end stood down the end of it. He didn't. He didn't get affected by the flash. He, what's the point in tactical grenades if they don't provide you with tactile cover? Oh, you're actually a. We're in. It's okay. We can do it again. It's fine. We're, it's not fine. It's not fine at all. What do you mean that hasn't affected him? It's literally at his feet. It might as well be shoved up his arsehole sideways. How has that flashbang not blinded that guy? Oh my god. No! Oh! Fiddlesticks. I want to know how they know exactly when I'm peeking that corner. Like, they've got the reaction time of... Prime Ninja, if he was high on meth. What am I actually looking at? Oh, yes. We're past that section. Just show me a checkpoint, please. With the tunnels now behind us, we clear out the war room where, contrary to popular belief, there was plenty of fighting and bring an end to the mission. Is that it? Yes! Come on! Let's go, baby! Oh, come on, what have we got? The ultimatum! Complete ultimatum all in and no fighting in the war room on veteran difficulty. Yes! With that mission out of the way, we move on to Game Over, the final main story mission in the game. Okay, right, we got him. This is a sensory overload. What is going on here? Oh, damn, he's taken out the bridge. Oh. The 
just mounted, Captain. Mm, let's not say that. I have just climbed on... Mm, I can't say this without being uh, dodgy. Oh my god. I, speaking of useless wankers, can my team do something? Okay, no, I didn't die. That's fantastic news. I thought I'd messed up there, but we're fine. <laughs> oh, checkpoint. Let's go. Come on, Griggs. Let's do this. Oh, no. Griggs has been railed. Captain Bird's eye, help me out. What do I do? Oh, my God. It's the big bad. Is he just going to absolutely rail that guy in front of me? Oh, he is. Yeah, he's going to blow his head right off. Okay, yeah, he's he's dead. <laughs> nice, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, the chopper's down. Another checkpoint. Okay, this is where we kill him. This is endgame, people. This is endgame. Come on. Help me out here, Price. Oh, you're going to throw me... Get a fucking pistol whip him. Come on, give me that gun. Boom. 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 Is that mission? Let's go! Deep and hard, baby! Love to see it. Oh, and another one. What's this one? The fourth horseman. Is this going to be complete game over on veteran difficulty? Let's go. Any more? And another one. Win the war. Let's go. Complete the game on any difficulty. With the main story complete, we now have to collect one of the hardest achievements in the Call of Duty franchise, the Mile High Club. Let's do this. Right. What's up, guys? Boom. Dead. Boom. Oh, okay. For anyone who doesn't know what this achievement entails, we have to manoeuvre our way through a hijacked plane, swarming with enemies to rescue a hostage. All whilst on the game's hardest difficulty, and in under a minute. Let's see how that went. Okay, right, about 10 seconds when we got to there, so I want to cut that down, maybe have like 15, 16 seconds when we get to that room. 30 seconds, are you having me on? Oh, okay, right. Well, that's on me for turning the corner, to be honest. Uh, if I can switch my handgun for that shotty quick, we might be onto something. Or I could just not hit any of my bullets and get absolutely blasted by goddamn Buzz Lightyear in front of me there. What an ass. Right, we managed to run past this guy pretty successfully last time. Okay, no, my whole squadron of three people stood at the back of the plane have just watched this guy come up behind me and bum me. What are you doing? Pre-flash and throw. I have literally witnessed that blow up in front of his face and him just sit there. That is frustrating, but it's okay, because we're having a good time. Did he die? He did die. I don't think I killed him, though. Move! You f ass! So that, that run was chalked after goddamn Mr. Blobby sat in the corner and didn't let me move out the way. My god. The enemy decides that they're going to hide behind cover or not. JFK, I respect what you've done, but I think you're in the worst position to be able to give me advice on not being shot. Why aren't my team up with me? They've got one guy to kill between the three of them, and then they can catch up. There's no need to pussyfoot around. They're aware that we're next to them. We're on a plane. Just run, my dudes. No! There's one in the stall, you... We were doing so well! Team, team, just take out one guy, man. You've got to shoot the, f the, the one person. My God. Three shots. Is that all I get? 
Why can't I pick up a gun and it have a full magazine? He's not shot a shot. I've killed him straight away. So you're telling me he's walking around this airplane that he's hijacked with three bullets in his shotgun. Why on earth would you do that? It, 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 no, it doesn't make sense. It has. Why wouldn't it be fully loaded? Oh my god, man. He's there, crouching on. <laughs> Just absolutely slocking me off whilst I'm just trying to run through the map. Why are you crouched around the corner? Oh my god, buddy. Why is there a third one? There's never a third one. Oh my god. The goddamn three musketeers have come down from the top and absolutely just wrecked me. Five. Oh no. Okay, that was that was almost the one. We do it again. We're getting consistently here, people. Consistently shit, unfortunately. Three bullets, man. Three bullets! What am I meant to do? Honestly, if I pick up three bullets, it's worth turning the shotgun around and blowing my own head off. <laughs> There's a f***ing hole in the plane! What do you mean? Uh, there's not one there, but there's a guy at the top of the stairs. The second I check that corner, <laughs> big ass fat McGee comes running down the stairs. Dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -dum -ba -dum. Blasts me head in, doesn't he? That's it. We've we've doubled the amount of deaths that we got in the campaign in this godforsaken BS mission, man. I'm killing them. Kill him. I'm gonna shoot that shit. Come on! Yes! Come on! Did I do it? <gasps> yes! <gasps> Let's go! Whew. Show me that achievement now. Now we have completed the game on veteran difficulty, as well as unlocking the Mile High Club achievement, we have to go back through the game and unlock some miscellaneous achievements. Fortunately, there's not a difficulty requirement for these achievements, so all of these will be done on recruit difficulty. To start off, we load up the mission FNG and re-attempt the training course as we now need to beat a time of 15.1 seconds for the best of the best achievement. Let's go! Come on, show me it, baby! Let's go! Best of the best. That's easy for you, geez. Okay, nice. We then go into Crew Expendable and pick up an achievement for three consecutive knife kills. Let's go! Another easy achievement. Three of a kind. Three consecutive knife kills. Once we'd completed the mission, we get achievements for completing a mission without reloading and completing a mission using only the knife. There we go. Come on. Retro Shooter. Complete any level without reloading. Oh, that isn't even the one I was going for. Well, I did go for it, but I forgot about it. We should get... Master Ninja. Complete any level using only the knife to kill enemies. There we go. We then reload into Crew Expendable and find the enemy with the Desert Eagle. We take him out, pick it up, and after racking up five kills, we get the Desert Storm achievement. There we go. Boom! Desert Storm, baby! With crew expendable out of the way, we load into the bog, where we have to destroy all four tanks going over the overpass. Maybe. There we go. Let's go, baby. Feel the heat. Kill all four tanks on the overpass with a javelin missile in the bog. Getting into hunted, we pick up the first achievement for saving the farmer at the beginning of the mission. There we go. Woo, man of the people. That's me. People power. Die, bitch. And we then scum reload a checkpoint until we have knife attacked 20 murderous dogs. Okay. Hey, there we go. I've single handedly committed dog genocide, I guess. Throughout the mission so far, we've been picking up all intel as we went. And in the mission Shock and Awe, we get our 15th collectible. Oh, which 15? Come on. 
Yes, let's go! That is look sharp, which is to find 15 enemy intel items. Let's go. The next achievement we collect is in All Gillied Up for alerting and destroying the enemy helicopter. Right, man versus machine. That is alert the enemy helicopter and all get it up and take it down. Perfect. Right. Heading into the worst mission in the game, we have to kill Makarov for our next achievement. Let's go. Time paradox, baby! The mission Heat has three more achievements for us to collect. First of all, we find the hidden cache and use all of the weapons for the man in the high tower achievement. That should... Hey, there we go. That is the Man in the High Tower achievement for find and use the hidden cache. The next achievement we collect is the Bird on the Ground for destroying a helicopter with an RPG. And once we've destroyed all eight helicopters on this mission, we get the Fly Swatter achievement. Show me it. Show me the money. Let's go! Fly Swatter, baby. Take down eight helicopters in heat. The next mission we head into is No Fighting in the War Room pick up our final collectible and unlock the eyes and ears achievement. With all due respect buddy, I'm a bit preoccupied. I don't want to enter the codes because... Here we go. Enemy intel. 30 out of 30. Come on. Um, no? There we go. Okay, oh, there was a big delay there. Eyes and ears. Woo! We collected every collectible. Find 30 enemy intel. We load up the final mission of the game, game over, and grab the weapon master achievement. Let's go! Weapon Master, baby! I have used so many weapons, thank god. The final achievement we need to pick up before unlocking the diamond achievement, and yes, that's the name I'm sticking with, is the Your Show Sucks achievement in Charlie Don't Surf for destroying all TVs showing Al Assad's speech. Let's go! Your show sucks, baby! Destroy all the TVs showing Al Assad's speech. And with that, we'd unlocked every achievement in Call of Duty 4 Remastered, unlocking the diamond achievement. This is the first time I've played Call of Duty 4, of either the remaster or the original game, and I can say that this has been an absolute blast, and a good challenge, which I'd recommend everyone go for. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you have, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Harry Potter is dead! Hey, <laughs>